What's going on guys, today we're back with a new video and in today's one we're going to be checking out the ammo making mod. I had seen about this ammo making mod on Reddit a couple of months back when it was I think first in its testing phases. Uh, this mod is also created by the people who also run the New Dawn Daisy servers. They had it on their servers testing it for a while and uh, then they released it to the public recently. And I saw a video by D73 had put up showcasing this mod. And the, air, uh, the video was about an hour long. Quite a long video but it does go kind of in depth in it and he was talking to the developer of the mod. I'd always wanted to make a video on this mod and then um, YD said I should go ahead and make a video showcasing this mod as well. Make a shorter version of it and show you how it actually works as well. So that's what we're going to do today. Now this is an ammo making mod which basically means you can make pretty much any type of ammo you want. So you can get ammo that you're not using like some type of 380 pistol ammo or whatever and you can smelt it down and then make other ammo for it as well. You can make rifle ammo or you can make pistol ammo, whatever ammo you choose. So we're going to kind of run through it and show you what it is like. So you get a couple of things here for doing it. You get a workbench. Now to make the actual workbench itself without anything on it, you need five planks and you need four legs. Now the four legs can be crafted from two logs. You can go up to the logs with a saw and be able to craft the legs for it. Combine the legs and the planks together. You don't need a hammer or any nails or anything. Just combine them together to be able to make the bench and then you get it. Now there's also a body press that you need. There's a scale and a funnel you also need as well. Now these can be found. The parts for these can be found all around the map. And then once you find them all you're able to make the body press. And then the scale and funnel come already pre-made. You then just attach them to the bench like so. And then you're pretty much ready to go with making the ammo. Next thing you also need is a smelter. This is a standalone smelter. It also spawns around the world as well. And this is what you'll be able to, using to be able to smelt the brass and everything back down to make be able to make new ammo. Now there is a couple of things that you need to know about this first. If you are using the smelter, I recommend using the large gas canisters if you can find them in the game. If you're using the small gas canisters, or sometimes even the, the medium ones, especially if you're using small gas canisters, the it won't allow you to smelt anything because there isn't enough gas in the small canisters to fully smelt everything, so it just won't leave you do it. So you're better off using a medium one, but if you use a medium one, beware. By the time everything's finished smelting, the medium gas canister will be pretty much empty, so that's why we recommend using the big ones because you get more life out of them. You will also need this crucible, which will also be able to be found around the map this is what you use you put all your ammo that you're not using in here and then you put this on top of the smelter to be able to smelt it down and then last but not least you got your moldings which are these things here now you got four different types so you have a rifle casing mold and you have a pistol casing mold and you also have a rifle tips mold and you also have a pistol tips mold so you can either make rifle ammo or pistol ammo to break this down and show you how it works what you need is to get some ammo that you're not using i'm just using 45 acp to show this off and you need a set of pliers so what you want to do is combine the pliers with the ammo and then pull apart the ammo so this will take apart the ammo and it will give you casings tips and it will also give you gunpowder as well as you can see it's given you 45 acp casings it's given you the tips and it's given you gunpowder as well so next what you want to do is get your crucible I'm going to have here and I'm going to load the 25 tips into the actually no so I'm going to load the 25 casings into the crucible combine them and put the casings in the crucible like so now as you can see this is does fill this up just a small bit so it has filled it up about 20 percent of the way as you can see by the line down below so the more casings you put into it you know the more f the fuller it'll get I've taken apart some more casings, gonna put some more casings in there as well. But we've got a decent bit of casings in there now, it's about 40% of casings. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this on the melter and I'm going to turn on the gas and I'm gonna start leaving this smelting. So now, as you can see, I can't interact with this at the moment. It is in its locking stage, it's locked it in. And you can't do anything with it. This will get up very, very hot to quite, to probably over 1200 celsius degrees or whatever 
and it'll smelt it down. Once it's done, it takes about two minutes to smelt. It'll unlock and then you'll be able to use it again. Now, there's something else you need to know as well. You have to wear gloves while handling the the molten brass because it is hot and it's a feature. If you don't, you'll obviously hurt yourself. So gloves, any gloves will work. Combat gloves, leather gloves, whatever. Any will work, but you have to use them. So now the casings are done they've been melted down and as you can see they're here and you can see how hot it is about 1200 degrees so far so that's why you need the gloves now what you would be able to do is you would be able to put the casings into a casing mold of whatever type you had here and you'd be able to fill it and then make the casings and the casings would fall on the floor and it'd make however many you wanted to these don't work for me in offline mode. They're already full and there's no empty ones available to spawn in, so I can't do it. But I will show this clip from Buddy73 of how they actually work. So what do well, we do now? All right, go over to that pistol mold that you have. Voila. So this doesn't need to get attached to the bench at all? Nope. You're pouring metal into the mold. Yep. Now, folks, do know that if your metal is not hot enough you can't pour the metal so you need to do it instantly no well yes but let's say your metal gets too cold right um and it just created 45 acp tips yep once you've seen how that works you should then have casings and tips now the 40 or the 506 by 45 tips are oh there they are now they're loading it aren't right, loading in there for a second but they're in so you'll be able to make tips and casings and all the rest of it and i have both here now so i'm going to grab my casings here and i'm going to grab gunpowder now gunpowder can be made from sulfur and different materials like that as well it's a lot of stuff to have it done but what you can do is you can use the gunpowder already from the ammo you've dismantled and you can do it that way so i'm going to combine this and I'm going to fill the casings now there is a factor here that you are going to get some spillage when filling these cases it's going to be to a random amount see the way i was able to fill 14 of them but i had six left over because some of the gunpowder spilled while i was doing it uh, it's kind of has a random factor on it and so i have six cases left over so then i can grab my 14 and then I can grab my tips and I can combine them to prepare to make the ammo. Now that's it, the ammo prepared. It's obviously not been into the machine yet to fully make it, but that's the next stage we're going to have to know. So what next you come over to, you come over to your press and then you go make ammo. And just like so. And then it gives you ammo right here. Nice fresh 5 of 6 by 45 ammo. The 14 bullets there and they are ready to go. It's a really cool mod. Still in development of course. Still being worked on as well. But it's a really cool feature. And I think a lot of hardcore servers. Or even not so hardcore servers. Even PvP servers could you know, use this mod. It's really really quite cool i think every server should at least take a look at it and see what they think of it because it's a mod that gives more interaction with the game for players and it makes them especially if you're playing on a server where ammo is limited if you do hoard up a lot of pistol ammo and they're like oh i can make this into some rifle ammo for my rifle because i need the rifle ammo more than i do the pistol then you're able to do that type of stuff and i'm going to leave the link to the mod down below and i'm going to leave the link to their discord down below in the description as well i'm also going to link by these full hour long video of it as well if you want to go watch that you can do let me know what you guys think of it in the description or in the comment section down below and until then i'll just catch you in the next one peace out for now